there's a lot of evidence now to tell us that the COVID vaccine is really important at protecting us against COVID and potentially protecting us against the serious part of COVID where you're admitted to hospital and even to the intensive care unit. Since July, the National Committee who give us advice about vaccinations are recommending that all pregnant women get a COVID vaccine. And this is backed up by the Royal College of Midwives and the Royal College of Obstetricians, who are the two groups who supervise practice for doctors like myself and my midwife colleagues as well. And they're all recommending now that we advise you to get the vaccine because it is protecting you and potentially protecting your baby as well. We know from the data over the last 18 months that one in 10 women who are pregnant who get COVID will be admitted to the intensive care unit. And this suggests that they're really seriously unwell. And this figure may be even higher, up to one in seven pregnant women who get the Delta variant of COVID. So there's a lot of evidence now to tell us that we should really be recommending that you have the vaccine. The evidence suggests that the vaccine is perfectly safe to have while you're, back, while you're breastfeeding. Um, and looking at the other end of pregnancy, we also think that the vaccine does not have any effect on fertility. So it's also safe to have the COVID vaccine if you're trying for a baby. Your baby won't get COVID if you get the vaccine. Uh, what happens to the vaccine is it's thought to disintegrate within about six hours and what the baby will actually get is the antibodies that you produce when you have the vaccine. So those antibodies cross the placenta and give your baby some protection against COVID. This also seems to be uh, an effect that happens with breastfeeding as well. The difficulty about shielding and being careful at home and social distancing is that we don't know how many people around us may have the vaccine, may have the infection without having any symptoms. And this is the problem. So although we can do our social distancing, there is the chance that they may still be passing on the infection. The other group of people who may still pass on the infection is people who've been double vaccinated. So although they are unlikely to get unwell themselves, they may still be carriers of the infection and therefore simply shielding at home may not fully protect you from getting COVID. If you're working from home, then it depends on the size of the rest of your household. You always have to think about who else is coming and going from your house and the fact that those people may have COVID without showing any symptoms. So, for example, if you have children who are at secondary school, then again, we know that uh, these children may be passing on the vaccine as they're not yet in the, they may be passing on the infection as they're not yet in the group who are being vaccinated. Similarly, if you have uh, uh, family relatives who are living with you who are coming, going from work, Again, have they been vaccinated? And even if they have been vaccinated, they again may still be able to pass on the infection. So what you need to do is think about your own individual situation and decide then if that makes you at a higher or lower risk of getting the infection. But overall, the national advice is still recommending that you have the vaccination. For most women, the vaccine uh, in pregnancy is advised uh, after you've had your 12 to 14 week scan. Um, however, there are certain groups of women who are at higher risk if they catch COVID, like women, for example, who may have diabetes or high blood pressure, and those women are advised to have the vaccine as soon as possible. But in general, the advice is after you've had your first scan. You're bound to be worried if you're a pregnant mum about the effect that the vaccine might have on your baby. Uh, but what we know from over 200,000 women who have had the vaccine is that their babies seem to be safe. Now, obviously, this doesn't tell us about long term side effects. Uh, but what we know is from vaccines that are made in the same sort of way as the COVID vaccines is that the, the vaccine is likely to be safe for your, vac for your baby. We have to balance this against what is the effect on your baby if you have COVID uh, infection itself. 
And as I've already mentioned, we said that about one in 10 women who are pregnant who get COVID will end up with serious disease. And we know that a lot of these pregnancies uh, result in having your baby prematurely. And we know that being born prematurely is a serious problem potentially for your baby with many different long-term side effects, especially if the baby's born very prematurely. And so you have to balance the risk of having a baby prematurely against the risk of having the vaccine. And at the moment, the evidence is suggesting to us that the vaccine is safe for your baby. If you're pregnant, the advice at the moment is to have either the Pfizer vaccine or the Moderna vaccine. The reason for that is that most of the evidence on nearly 200,000 women who've had a COVID vaccine has been from one of these two vaccines and that's why we are recommending one of those two types. We're not recommending that you mix vaccines. If you've already had one dose of the AstraZeneca vaccine, then we are recommending that you have the second dose of, Astra, of the AstraZeneca vaccine as well. This is because the studies that have been done seeing at how effective the vaccine has been done has not been looking at mixing the vaccines. And so we think it is, we know that the evidence tells us it's a good vaccine if you have both of the same type of vaccine. We also know that if you've had one vaccine and you're well, that you're likely to be well after the second one because the side effects seem to be mainly after the first dose. And that particularly applies to the serious vaccine side effects that have been in the papers. These seem to be after the first dose only. So if you remained well after the first dose, then have the second dose of AstraZeneca as well. <laughs>